What's up my peeps, I'm here with a WWE 2K15 online match, it is Christian versus Randy Orton. Now usually I tell you, hey I'm playing as this guy, or I'm playing as this guy, but you can obviously tell who I'm playing as because the gamer tag is above Christian's head, so obviously I'm playing as Christian. Now this was the first online match I played since the last one I posted up, which was back in January 15th. And this match was played like on Thursday or something like that. I don't know. It was the day the DLC came out or the day after. So does, does it really matter? Anyways, it was also the first match where I was playing as Christian. Before playing this match, though, I did want to check what Christian's overall was in the game. Just because just I was curious. I wanted to see. And uh, it's an 84. And keep in mind, I think this overall is... In regards to Christian's overall back in 2011, I guess, when he was feuding with Randy, because the DLC is all about the one more match feud with Randy, which I love. I'm happy they, you know, they had a DLC, a, a showcase, like, uh, DLC for, for Christian, you know, for the one more match feud between Randy and Christian. While at that time, while that feud was going on, I was pissed that, you know, Christian would always lose his matches against, against Randy, and when he'd win, it'd be in a tag team match, or by this qualification, you know, looking back, the feud, you know, did provide some great matches, and of course, it did provide Christian with a World Heavyweight Championship run. Um, although it was by disqualification, but still, you know, he did win the title a second time in the feud, although, you know, it sucks that he lost it shortly after. Uh, but, what was I even saying again? Yeah, it's an 84 overall, and at the same time with this DLC comes Mark Henry from 2011 and Seamus from 2011 and maybe some other characters I'm not sure uh, oh yeah Del Rio also in 2011 and Mark Henry's overall in 2011 in the game it's I think it's 87 or something like that and Seamus is a 93 what is Seamus in 2011 was almost job re okay he wasn't job level but he was like in the mid card and he was losing to Christian and Randy it was still a heel at that time, uh, at least during the one more match feud. So, yeah, uh, that's kind of weird. 93 is the same overall that Sh the current Sheamus has in the game, which I also don't agree with. I don't I don't understand how Sheamus has a 93 overall in the game. Uh, but anyways, overalls aside, let's talk about this online match. Uh, you know, the reason, first of, all, first of all, the reason why I haven't been posting up as many online matches for 2K15 as much as the past couple of years or you know the past games is because of the lag 2k15 has to for me has lagged more than any other WWE game online it's it sucks because you know i used to play a lot of online matches but now i don't really play online matches all that much because of the lag for, fortunately this match didn't have as bad or as much lag as some of the other matches i played uh, i think it still had a bit of lag but it definitely wasn't as much as the other matches. And in this match, you'll notice that I'm getting my ass kicked most of the match. Randy, this is this match represents the the feud they had back in 2011. Randy kicking Christian's ass like 90% of the time. No, I, I don't know if I'd say 90% of the time in this match, but for most of this match, Randy had the advantage. He was beating me up, and I was trying to get the timing right, the countering timing right, uh, because. The online countering time is not the same as the, you know, the regular countering time the, uh, when you're playing single player, especially when there's lag. Uh, but like I said, there wasn't that much lag in this one, thankfully. Uh, but yeah, th this match is also a perfect example of how countering in this game is everything. As you can see, I counter right there. But it's not just countering, but countering the right moves and one to counter. Um, and this match, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a few moments here. I mean, right here, I'm getting the advantage, you know, I'm, I'm getting some offense in on Randy. Oh, he got it right there. I was just talking about countering. But you'll see in a few moments here that countering, well, countering plays a big part in WWE games. And, uh, when you counter the, the right move, it can turn, you know, the, the, the match. You can turn the, the entire way the match is going. Uh, I'm just waiting for that moment right here. It should arrive in a couple of seconds, maybe. Maybe about right here. Yeah, I think Randy grabs me right here. He goes for the uppercut. And look at this. Whoa, countered the RKO. He's no longer got a finisher. I've got a finisher. Now he's getting desperate. Look at this. He goes for a leverage pin. 
And it's not all. He's going to go for another one right here. He's not done. He's like, damn it. I just lost my finisher. I want to put this match away. And look at this. This guy almost had me right there. That was the closest pin I've ever seen or I've ever, I've ever experienced in a WWE game. That was so close to three. I pick him up. And I'm also getting desperate at this time. And check this out. We're preparing for the kill switch. And I love that they added a pin combo to it. So it's a new kill switch animation. You go for the cover. One, two, and three. That RKO counter changed the entire match and then allowed me to hit the kill switch for the win. This is how Christian should have won, uh, I guess, SummerSlam. Because he lost at SummerSlam. He should have won at SummerSlam, the world title. Well, actually, retained because he was a champ at that time. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, get click that like button down below. And stay tuned for Monday's My Career. With that said, I'm out. See you guys.